Hello everyone. Kumar Chen, Department of IAC, Sri Venkateshwara College of Engineering, Bengaluru. Today, uh, top topic is introduction to Adobe system. So, without any delay, let's see what is Adobe ecosystems and where we find out this Adobe ecosystems and uh, a little bit introduction to this Adobe ecosystems. So, all these things we are going to learn in this video. So, without further delay, let's get into the video. First, introduction to big data so uh, uh, basically this uh, adobe ecosystem is a part of big data and uh, apache adobe is an open source framework intended to make interaction with big data easier so it's an interaction with the data so everyone knows what is data the data means the daily uh, we use a um, lot of uh, devices in the devices for example if you take youtube so whatever we use like uh, whatever we search whatever we see all those uh, data will be stored in the youtube server so they will be having one uh, server so in that server our data will be stored according to that uh, we will get recommendations uh, in the uh, in future so like that this uh, framework will work uh, the big data will work so first let's uh, tell uh, the people who don't know about uh, this uh, technology like uh, they will uh, get one question so what is big data so I told you at the beginning of the video that uh, Adobe ecosystems. Now he is telling big data. So what is big data and what is uh, Hadoop ecosystems? So you may get the thing that uh, question. So let me tell you first uh, what is big data. So big data is a term given to the data sets which can't be processed in an efficient manner, uh, which is with the help of traditional methodology such as RDMS. So we know DBMS, RDBMS, DBMS means database management system, RDMS means relational database management system. So basically there we will represent the data in the form of tables like where uh, there, there we have certain uh, number of rows and uh, certain number of columns. So in that columns and rows we will store some data. So there we will represent in the way of graphical representation. But uh, here this uh, big data we is used so where we can't uh, process the data that much efficiently. So in these cases this big data will comes into the picture. Now Adobe has made its uh, place in the industries and companies that need to work on large data sets which are sensitive and needs efficient handling so in order to overcome this uh, problem of rdbms and dbms uh, the hadoop has introduced where uh, the large industries uh, for example youtube google so these are the uh, basically works on the huge data so these uh, industries we can't always uh, depend on the dbms or rdbms so th that place this hadoop, eco hadoop system will be very very important and it's a framework that enables processing of large data sets uh, which uh, uh, the form of clusters being the framework Hadoop is made up of several uh, uh, are supported by a large ecosystem of technology so so this ecosystem has a different different type of uh, technologies uh, out of ecosystem means uh, so itself for uh, the name only tells that so it has some different different kinds of things in this so those things things are connected as a system so that's the Hadoop ecosystem so let's see that uh, what is a uh, Adobe ecosystem so that is Adobe ecosystem is a platform or a suit which provides various services to solve the big data problems so, so this is a ecosystem so where it provides a platform as to uh, solve the problems related to big data problems so, so where we can't uh, overcome the we can overcome that uh, DBMS problems using this uh, Adobe ecosystem and it also includes Apache projects and various commercial tools and solutions there are four major elements of Adobe that is HDFS, MapReduce, Aaron and Hadoop common so these are the four major important elements uh, when it comes to the Hadoop ecosystems and also there are uh, Apache projects and uh, other some commercial tools and solutions for this uh, big data. So let's see these uh, four major elements and uh, we will uh, try to uh, see what's the uh, advantages, what are the disadvantages, what's the use cases and where we can the, use these kind of uh, tools in the uh, daily life or like uh, or when it comes to big data. Most of the tools or solutions are used to supply supplement or support these major elements all these tools work collectively to provide services such as absorption analysis storage and maintenance of data so what and all functions we do when it comes to big data so the functions basically that are the absorption analysis storage and maintenance so first let's see what is absorption Absor absorption means simple so the data we are getting we are fetching from the user or from the server so whatever it is the fetching of data is uh, we can uh, call it as absorption and after that we will analyze the data so for example if i uh, someone is using youtube like uh, if he is watching the content related to sports means the after recommendations to him will be 
like sports related content only he will get recommended like that first we'll observe the data what he is watching for example he is watching sports oh, okay we got the data he is watching sports like football cricket and so on so so on so after that we will analyze that data so in us in those sports to watch so to, to which sport he is giving more time for example he is watching more cricket on that uh, platform then we will analyze that and we will uh, store that in our server and we'll maintain with that uh, customer using that uh, data itself was like uh, uh, providing uh, uh, content related to the sports and he, we, we are going to recommend the same thing to him always uh, when he comes to the youtube so for some amount of time he may change his uh, mind he may watch more movie related content after that we can update that so that's so where uh, the the part of maintenance will work so this is maintenance uh, the, that's how in auto ecosystem will work uh, let's see the components are that collectively form out of system out of ecosystem so ecosystem means uh, one single uh, tool cannot uh, to, tool or like a component uh, cannot form an ecosystem we need to understand that there will be a more than one uh, components are there in this ecosystem so let's see those components one is hdfs air map reduce spark pig hive hbase mahout spark mllib solar lucens zookeeper woozy so these are some uh, very very important uh, components uh, where they collectively form the Hadoop ecosystem so now i don't going i am not going to explain all these uh, components i am going to explain some components so which are major important and which are having major application function when it comes to the Hadoop ecosystem that's what i am going to tell so you can see in this diagram here this uh, Chikwa, Flume, Zookeeper, Woozy are comes under data management. Hive, Pig, Mahout, Haro, Scoop are come under data access and MapReduce are not data processing. And now let's see the HDFS. Uh, so already I told you that I can't explain all the components in a single video. If you want all the components, you can uh, ask me in comments box. I will try to do a one more video on the all the components of this uh, HDFS. First, let's see. I am today. I am going to hardly try to explain some four to five uh, uh, HDFS come on like Hadoop components first Hadoop for distributed file system so Hadoop for HDFS is the primary or major component of Hadoop's ecosystem and is responsible for storing large data sets of structured or unstructured data across various nodes and thereby maintaining the metadata in the form of block files and HDFS consists of two core components that is name node and data node and also the name node is the prime node which uh, contains metadata requiring comparatively fewer less resources than the data nodes that stores the actual data these data nodes are commodity hardware in the distributed environment undoubtedly making Hadoop cost effective and HDFS maintains all the coordination between the clusters and hardware that's the world of the heart of the ecosystem so so here uh, the HDFS so, so this is the Hadoop distributed file system so mainly contains the two nodes that is name node and data node and this name node is the is a prime node where it contains metadata and also uh, this uh, data nodes uh, that stores the actual data these are uh, data nodes and they will store the actual data so and also the, in this hdfs we store structured uh, and unstructured data so we don't uh, divide this structured data unstructured data like that we will combine that data and we will store in this uh, distributed file system and it will maintain the uh, clusters and hardware the coordination between these clusters and hardware all these things will be maintained by this hdfs and uh, let's see so that is a uh, pig apache big this is a uh, one more component in uh, this like uh, so not big sorry for that uh, so it's a uh, apache hive first let's see apache web for that apache pig also we will uh, uh, discuss in the next slide uh, it's an open source data warehouse system that uh, processes structured data in a loop how you can summarize query and analyze large data sets it uses hql hql which is similar to SQL Hive is used for data warehousing, ETL pipelines, and ad hoc data analysis. So we can see, so it's an open source data warehouse, and it processes structured data in Hadoop. And in HDFS, both structured and structured data is used. Here, structured data in uh, he Hadoop that is going to be uh, maintained or whatever thing things which are needed to that will be happen, and it can summarize and it can query and analyze large data sets. It uses HiveQL. So here, uh, uh, HiveQL is uh, similar to SQL where structured a uh, sequential query language. I like that this HiveQL will do the query. All those things will be happen in this Apache Hive. 
query means fetching the data and our uh, exact data we can fetch by using uh, some uh, query related commands uh, let's see the use cases of this uh, apache hive or uh, that is a data warehousing large scale batch processing log and uh, click stream analyze analysis etl extract transform load these are uh, this the operations uh, uh, three operations uh, short form we call it as etl let's see description of this data warehousing so it's widely used for creating data warehouses on top of Hadoop. it is used to create warehouses and uh, the use case of this is storing and managing structured data for analytics and reporting large scale batch processing description that is hive is well suited for processing large volumes of data in batch mode however this Hadoop ecosystem will always deals with the large data sets but uh, this is uh, uh, the, this component is uh, having major application about uh, this big data and the uh, use case is analyzing historical data or performing periodic batch processing tasks like uh, if, uh, if a person's data is uh, uh, fetched by this server means that it will do uh, some uh, anal analysis like uh, based on that data they will uh, uh, increase the user uh, experience of that specific user for the every user is the analysis part is going to be happened and a log and click stream analysis analyzing logs and click stream data for uh, insights and trends and uh, use case is identifying user behavior patterns session analysis and website optimization so the, this is a description of this log and click stream analysis like uh, this is also related to analyzing logs and uh, click streams so, so we see different different uh, links when it comes to the uh, browsers or uh, in youtube we are we find different different links uh, so how we will react to links so the links which are related to which kind which part or which stream so the, those data is going to be tracked by this um, servers and etl extract transform load operation so using hive for etl tasks to clean transform and load data into a more suitable format and uh, use cases preparing data for analysis by transforming and uh, cleaning raw data uh, so it's to clean and transform load data it's uh it's like uh, first we will fetch the data and we will transform the data so however we want and uh, however it is useful and we will load and we will do the operations in a order format so that is etl basically and also there are other use cases uh, data that is data exploration data aggregation data integration structured data analysis business intelligence etc these are some other uh, use cases of this uh, apache hive now let's see apache pig what is apache pig it's an open source technology that process unstructured data pig uses a high level scripting language called pig latin pig latin is similar to sql but requires less code to analyze the data uh, it's uh, apache pig like it's also open source technology but apache hive will deal with the structured data it uh, deals with the unstructured data and we can get the queries uh, with the less code uh, and we can analyze the data with the less code only and uh, we use a language with uh, pick latin which is similar to the sql this is also same there uh, we use a hql high uh, query language here we use the pick latin language that's all uh, about, about this uh, let's see use cases log processing data transformation data cleaning and enrichment so these three are major uh, use cases like uh, log processing means analyzing and processing log files generated by web browser servers applications or systems and use cases extracting valuable information generating statistics and identifying patterns in log data and uh, when it comes to data transformation so performing etl i think we, we are going to do this in uh, high uh, high fuel also and also raw data to prepare it uh, for analysis cleaning formatting and transforming data from various sources into a common format and uh, data cleaning and enrichment means uh, cleaning the uh, cleaning and enriching data sets by handling uh, values removing duplicates and adding additional information uh, the use case of this is improving the quality and completeness of our data sets before analysis uh, and also one more thing that is click stream analysis uh, this is also one uh, use case in uh, hive that is analyzing user behavior data collected from websites or applications understanding user navigation patterns optimizing user experience and making data driven um, environment so hbase so it's a uh, one more uh, uh, component in uh, Hadoop ecosystem uh, it's like a distributed uh, column oriented database uh, that runs on top of uh, Hadoop hbase is horizontally scalable and uh, provides quick access to structured data it's also fault tolerant way to store sparse data sets 
uh, apache hbase use cases is uh, real time data access uh, time series data storage random read write access and uh, scalable key value storage operational data store white column store multi version concurrency control hierarchical data storage caching layer uh, and uh, catalog and uh, metadata storage and uh, these are some use cases of apache uh, okay, spark and uh, now let's uh, apache hbase uh, apache spark uh, let's see apache spark that is uh, an alternative framework to Hadoop that provides in a uh, memory processing spark can handle batch processing and real time processing it's uh, based on Hadoop map reduce and can be used for uh, interactive queries and stream processing uh, this is a uh, image of this uh, spark uh, where, uh, where you may probably seen in uh, your laptops uh, let's see the use cases of this apache spark it's a batch and real time processing machine learning graph processing so interactive querying data warehousing etl large scale data processing distributed machine learning and data integration these are some uh, use cases of this um, apache spark uh, i think uh, have uh, covered with five uh, things uh, let's come to the conclusion in conclusion part uh, adobe uh, apache adobe ecosystem offers a comprehensive suite of uh, tools for big data processing and analytics so, so we can uh, deal with this uh, big data very very easily and uh, very well uh, apache hio big uh, hbase and spark so these they provide specialty functionality scattering to diverse use cases we are going to do many use cases using this uh, um, components and uh, uh yeah some uh, stuff is happening in our room i want to pick uh ideal for sql like uh, queries and uh, high level scripting for uh, data processing tasks hbs and also sql uh, distributed database for real-time read uh write access and uh, spark uh, in memory processing uh, engine uh, supporting batch real-time and machine learning tasks uh versatility the ecosystem addresses various data processing needs from warehousing to stream uh, processing so these are some uh, versatility spare catch base i won't pick these are some uh, use cases uh, let's see scalability and performance it enables processing and analysis of massive data sets with uh, improved performance uh finally the conclusion part adobe uh, ecosystem with uh, its diverse components empower organizing and uh, efficient manage process and uh, gain insights from the big data so let me tell you conclusion from my side that is this Adobe ecosystem is basically deal with the big data and we are having different components in this Adobe ecosystems like uh, Apache Hive, Apache Spark, Apache uh, Pig uh, and uh, HPS uh, uh, and uh, other I have uh, discussed in this video that is uh, five components I have uh, discussed uh, there are uh, other uh, five components and if you really want to learn about those components also you can uh, ask in comment section I will try to make a one more video on that uh, I hope you enjoyed my video if you really like the video please do like and share do like the video and share with your friends because uh, the likes and views are very very important for my academics so, so as a part of academics i am doing this video assignments i hope you know this so and by any chance if you really like the video if you don't like the video also please do like uh, i need that likes and views so 200 minimum views i need so thank you uh, my name is uh, Rao Kumar Ichan. once again thank you bye bye